picking up now for some of the... Uh, actually, if you can see here, I'm only picking up on the sides of the dish, not actually going into the paint itself. You can, but I prefer that part because it's a little bit thicker. It's a horribly humid, muggy day today. I don't like it at all. So we're going to start... Well, I start around there. You can start from wherever you want. Avoiding the ankle bone. I just sort of bring that down there like that. Some people just drag it through. It's a personal preference. It's up to you. And then just... That's a little bit too wet. With thinners. And I'm not going to be left with a vein at all. Just come with a clean sponge. Pick that up. And for those of you who are in my let's, and I'll make a statement of, of this nature over there as well. So let's make a silicon doll group. I'm teaching them how to uh, sculpt a baby so that therefore um, they do their own work. They, they, they literally create their own um, silicon doll. Uh, and I'm not wasting my time doing all those tutorials on um, um, on sculpting if they have no intentions of learning and only there basically to learn how to um, make a silicon doll in, in any other way, illegal way or otherwise. I don't know whether you could really state it as being illegal who made up the, the rules and the regulations, but I'm not one to... Um, to, you know, to go against. I, I don't like the thought of someone stealing my work and claiming it as their own. And, uh, and that's why I wouldn't like it to be done to anybody else either. Hence why I'm going to be asking to see some works in progress from the Silicon people in their own sculpture. And trust me, I've been in it for so long, I'll know if it's their own or not. So there's your veining. Back to this class and this lot of people. Okay, now on top of the foot, I've done it. Now, I must have done it when I was talking. Um, keep your veins light. That's all I've got to say. Keep your veins light. They will show up through um, the skin layers we're going to put on but they're not going to be predominant and we don't want predominant now with the little hand which is left just in the <coughs> just in a little bit more little palm area here it's a bit blue I don't know whether it was in focus or not Okay, and that's about it with the blues, oh no, um, here, at the end, we're just with the little arm folds nearest um, elbow, and just here, just it, okay. And then I might have a little vein sort of coming down. I hope you can see this, guys, or am I in your way again? And because the little <coughs> fingers are clenched over, I'm going to take some of this veining and I'm going to put it like that over the fingers. I think it makes a beautiful effect. And very realistic as well. My grandson's got them like that, and he's only what is it, two months, I think, it's two months old. Yep. 
And on the other side, I would put. Um, oh, I don't know. Just two predominant veins, really. And just letting them join up down the bottom. Okay. And that is it. Now I'll do the rest and I'll probably catch up with you later because in a minute I am going over to work on silicon babies and I'm not doing tutorials on those, um, at least not yet.